Hello everyone, this is Tech Remedy. Today we'll give you a brief introduction about Visual Studio 2019 and how to install it on your PC. Since I already have the program installed, I'll be using uh, Oracle VirtualBox to install it on a clean Windows 10. So to download Visual Studio, we open our browser, we type Visual Studio on the search bar or you can directly go to visualstudio.microsoft.com. Here it will give you a brief introduction about the program, the user interface that you can use it to develop, analyze, debug, test and deploy programs. You can use it to develop uh, web-based and cloud-based programs, desktop and mobile apps, you can use it for gaming development and other tools related to database, related to Microsoft Office and Linux development. Now Visual Studio was elected to be the most famous programming language that is from the statistics of July 2020 on GitHub uh, among 30 programming languages, Visual Studio was number one with almost more than 25% of share, um, followed by, as far as I remember, it was Eclipse, and then Android Studio, both for Android, and then VS Code, it's the most used program for uh, code editing, and then comes after that PyCharm, which is used for Python and so on. But uh, it is very famous, very useful development environment, very easy to use. Uh, we'll be seeing uh, more videos about it very soon. Uh, but first, let's try to download the program. Microsoft gives us three options to download the program. We have the community version, which is the free version. Everybody can download for free. You do not have to pay for this version but with the condition that you do not use it for any uh, commercial or enterprise uh, reasons of course if you are in a small company you can go with the professional version if you are an enterprise uh, company you have to go with the enterprise version um, they have the uh, comparison between the editions here on the uh, website as well you can simply <coughs> you can simply check them to see which one fits your needs exactly and which one doesn't if you need something specific from it then you have to check for that spec check if it's available in the version you chose or not and if not then you have to move to the other version and so on for example the uh, enterprise or the companies cannot use community which is the free version they have to go with the uh, paid version either the professional or the enterprise so to get the free version we hit download on community download will start automatically once it starts we can click on the downloaded file We hit yes. It tells us that we need to first install an app called Visual Studio Installer, which it will install automatically. It's downloading from the internet now, it's 70 megabytes. Depending on your internet speed, um, you will have it downloaded within in less than five minutes in most of the places so the installer is done downloading and installing itself now we are on visual studio installer uh, user interface it's getting uh, things ready analyzing the computer to see if there's anything installed on it pre-installed uh, it will give us a list here uh, and then it will give us the 
available options to download from since we do not have anything installed on this PC goes directly to the installing page so from here we use our workloads where we want to work on what we want to develop so that we do not download um, additional things that we do not really use so uh, from here since we are going to be developing desktop apps uh, mainly .NET desktop apps so we'll be checking .NET desktop development from desktop and mobile you can see directly here the list of things to install those are the mandatory things and those are the optional things let's go on with our list you can go with C++ you can go with mobile development uh, gaming other tools we might be needing a database so we'll go to we'll hit data storage and processing if you want to work on .NET Core which is the the new cross-platform uh, development uh, they recently released uh, .NET Core 5.0 uh, preview you can download that one and play with it uh, until the official release is out uh, with, from the individual components we can choose the .NET Core version, we can choose .NET Framework version I usually like to go with the latest version so we can uh, select 4.8 SDK which is the software development kit uh, targeting pack is what the end user has to have to run the program you can click on that one as well um, if you want to develop on an older .NET framework version or if you are targeting a specific .NET framework version you will have to choose it from here uh, you can go with the native you can tick or untick Azure uh, tools for database for SQL for gaming tools uh, you can tick the things that you want to download um, C++, MSVC um, and so on the list goes on and on uh, even Windows development so this is Windows 10 software development kit this is the latest build uh, you can work on developing the Visual Studio itself the IDE itself uh, you can participate in it since the community version is free it's something similar to an open source you can participate in developing it uh, you can choose of course the language pack you want to uh, work on you can choose the installation location I'll keep those in default of course the language pack will be in English for me um, the install uh, components I don't really need 4.6 so I will remove it tells me that it's included in these so I'll just hit OK just because um, I do not need it I'm not going to use it I'll keep .NET Core I'll keep uh, .NET 4.8 You see, the more we choose and uh, remove from here, the total required space will be changed in this corner. So if we go back and put the default things that um, Microsoft wanted us to download, you'll see we'll need to download 9.75 gigs. If not, if we want to untick things from here, uh, we can just remove it, download what we really want to use. Um, and then the space will be reduced and at the same time you can see what things that entity ticked and unticked from this list so uh, for demonstration purposes I'll just leave everything as it is uh, and hit install before that you can choose whether to download everything and then install them or install while downloading I'll be choosing install while downloading because I'll not be using the PC at this moment so uh, it won't be a big deal to have it frozen or something like that 
so after we check everything we need to install and uninstall we can hit install it will start downloading the entities install them and if you want of course you can automatically start visual studio after that so i'll be speeding up the video and i'll see you when the download is done While waiting for the installation process to finish, you can check the development news. Uh, you can see that they are already working on .NET 5. We have selected .NET 4.8 in the video earlier. Uh, .NET 5 or 5.0 is going to be released very soon. They are already working on the preview version for the .NET Core 5.0. Uh, I believe the normal SDK will be available very soon. Now we have Visual Studio Community 2019 launching up automatically after um, installation process. You can see here there is a note for the community version. It's the free version of Visual Studio intended for students open source contributors and individuals it is not intended for enterprise and commercial works if you are an enterprise if you're a company if you're going to use it to um, make money out of it actually and somehow then you'll need to either use the professional version or the enterprise version which are the paid versions of microsoft visual studio but if you're going to program for a hobby or just to enter programming to learn it for yourself to use it at home then community version will be okay for you this is the uh, welcoming screen let me just get rid of the installer this is the welcoming screen you can authenticate uh, Azure driver to access your directories I'll cancel that you can sign in if you have an account on Visual Studio. If it is a paid license, then you can use your account to get the uh, license from your uh, email address. Uh, or you can just sign in to have um, your records, your logs, your settings backed up to your email address. I'll hit maybe later, not now, just because this is an emulator. I'm not going to use this version. I already have the professional version um so i'll just hit not now now for the uh development environment you can choose which language is your main development language and visual studio will put those options at the top for you and put the others on an on a cascaded menu maybe we'll work on visual basic most of the time so i'll select visual basic uh, I'm really fan of dark theme, so I'll go for dark theme. Those are just preferences. Go with whatever suits you, whatever makes you feel good. I'll just hit start Visual Studio. This is the main interest screen of Visual Studio 2019. If you have an old projects opened, uh, you will have it listed here, just like a recent. Uh, list to select from you can uh, clone something from github you can open a project or solution if you already have one you can open a folder to browse it and get the solutions the files the uh, references manually yourself over here uh, or you can start with creating a project now before we do that uh, one comment or trick to always start Visual Studio as an administrator, it will help you later on while developing applications uh, and softwares where you need the administrator right uh, to get it open. You go to, uh, to do that trick, you go to C, Program Files, Visual Studio, and the version, which is 2019, and then the sub-version, which is the community. Um, and then to and then you go to IDE here you'll have 
let's just filter the applications to make it easier for us the development environment this is visual studio uh, now with usual applications and softwares if you click on uh, properties compatibility you can tick that to you can ask the you can ask Windows to run this program as administrator all of the time or whenever you open it now for Visual Studio unfortunately there is no such option you cannot choose from here so to uh, overcome this you can just hit troubleshoot compatibility will make a trick on Windows pretend that it is not working and then it will give us the option to always run it as administrator so it tells us to try recommended settings or select from an option the program requires additional permission we're going to trick Windows telling it that Visual Studio is asking us for additional permission and hit next the applied settings are run as administrator if you can see here hit next of course we need to test the program so you can see it is asking for permission to run so we can hit next save these settings since I'm running the program on an emulator it's a little bit slow I'm using parts of my CPU my RAM and my hard disk to run this copy of Windows um, when we are going to do the uh, actual lessons I'll be using my own copy on the actual Windows uh, installation not through the emulator so we'll not have to wait that long that's all for today's video thank you for tuning in Please do not forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel to help us get going and I'll see you in the next one.